What's up everyone, it's your boy Moses. So I wanna show you quickly how to go about purchasing the MJP Gospel Loop Pack Volume 1. So if you click on the link under this video, or you know, you've got the link as well to where this uh, Loop Pack is, there are two versions, right? The total package version and, you know, the actual Loop Pack itself, depending on what format are you looking for or what template are you looking for. So let me show you right here. So this is the first one right here, the MJP Loop Pack Volume 1 itself, the individual package. It's only $30, right? So let's say you want the Ableton template, right? There is Ableton template in here. There's the Logic Pro X template. There is the Studio One version 6, uh, Studio One version 5 long and short loops as well if you want that if you want the garage band loops it's also in here as well so uh, very very easy to do and let's say we want to buy the Ableton version right so we click on the Ableton version and we uh, say buy this okay and then it's going to bring us here and then we're going to say pay right now uh, depending on this is my own account so it's not going to charge me right now so I'll click on pay and uh, I will see my Ableton Live 10 suite, right? And then all I need to do is just what? Download the file, right? So I'll download the file and let's go to where my file is. And all I need to do is what? Unzip this file right now. So let's just open this file and unzip it and let's see what comes up on our screen uh, right now. So we've unzipped the file. Inside the file itself, as you can see, you see the uh, template itself right here, which you can now open. And also the short loops file, the native files as well. The short loops native file are also in here. So you can unzip that one as well. It comes in here. So you also have access to all of the short native loops in there. Uh, and then the same thing for the 68 and the 44 signature. But actually, also when you open up the template right here, which I'm going to open right now, if I double click on the project right now, it opens up my everything live 10 straight away, and I have all of my loops in there ready to go. Okay, you can see that all of them are ready to go. And once I play them, I start working. Okay, like I can go here. Right. Two. It's already playing. Okay, if you can hear that. So, uh, and then all of them will just keep playing like that. The same goes for all of the other templates as well. Let's quit live. Let's go back uh, to. Let's go back to the library. Uh, okay, so the same goes for all of the other options as well. Now, let me talk about the total package option. The total package option, if we wanna buy the total package option, what we are buying is all of the formats. You see the Ableton Live, the Logic Pro X, the Studio One, the Studio One version five, version six, GarageBand, short loops, which already comes with all of these anyways. And then also the long format loops as well in MP3 and WAV format. So, if let's say we want to buy this, all I need to do is click buy one of this copy or buy as many versions I want to. This one is $50 because it has all of the bundle inside. So once I click on buy this, it brings us to uh, the next page. Uh, again, like I said, this is my own account. It's not going to charge me yet. And then, you know, I click on pay, simple uh, format, and then it now shows me all of the format that are available to me to download. So I can choose what I want to download. I can choose to download the Logic Pro X format. So for example, let's download the Logic Pro X format. So now we've purchased all of these. We can download any any of these whenever, anytime we want. We can come here and download them. So now we're downloading the Logic Pro X uh, formats right now. Let's go to our downloads and let's unzip uh, our Logic Pro X Studio, uh, our Logic Pro X Loop Pack template. And then we already have access into it right here. We can open up Logic from here straight away. And then we have access to all of our loops and we can start, you know, pretty much using all of our loops uh, from there. So now uh, Logic is just taking a little bit of time to open up. Now it's here now. So 
we got all of our loops in here all open up all ready to go we can start we can start using them straight away from here so you know really really easy really easy stuff very simple uh, way of setting this up so if you have any question you can leave a comment under this video and let me know if you have any question and I'll be glad to always give you support every time you want any information so thank you so much and I will see you uh, in the next video peace